So I don't know if you guys saw, but I made my first Fortnite tutorial on the channel in like six months and it honestly did pretty well. So what I'm doing today is I'm going to be making a beginner version of that tutorial for all of you guys that were having trouble following along with it. Links to everything will be down below in the description. I'll have free presets down there that I use in the tutorial. With all that being said, let's get right into it. Quickly, before I get into it though, I want to quickly talk about my editing pack. That's literally $5. I promoted it in my last tutorial and a bunch of you guys actually picked it up and I got a ton of positive feedback. But this is my $5 editing pack it comes with everything I'm, I'm about to quickly show you everything that it has inside of it and i am making a new editing pack soon that will still be the same price of five dollars and anyone that buys it within like six months of me making this pack i'm going to be releasing it a month so if you bought it in the last five months you buy it now you're gonna have access to that brand new pack so literally it's five bucks go pick it up but quickly these pictures just kind of showcase what exactly is in the pack it got ident templates all that stuff it links everything down here and then the pack itself right here we can see that there's a massive update folder with like all all of my personal SFX. I got project files in here, After Effects transitions, overlays, skin glow effects. And then we got all my presets for all the softwares possible After Effects, DaVinci, Premiere, Vegas. These are all personal presets that I use myself. And then we got project files for my own montages, motion graphic stuff for like ident templates. We also got like lower thirds, intros, motion design, tournament overlays, God sound effects, which I use all the time, practice clips from like some pro players that you guys can use, color correction presets for you guys to actually apply to your montages. These are all my personal color corrections. Then all my personal render settings from a bunch of different softwares. And then lastly, I have a ton of fonts in here that you guys can use for your like subtitles, overlays, intro text, all that stuff. But I'm gonna have the link to that at the top of the description if you guys wanna pick this up, $5. Literally half the price of like a meal at McDonald's now. You can either go buy a burger today for lunch or you can go out and buy this editing pack and it will continuously benefit you. You can use it to edit for other people, make your money, back literally off of one edit trust me from an editor's perspective this is definitely worth the money with all that being said let's get back into the video all right so the first step for you guys is actually to download davinci resolve literally all you gotta do is look it up it's 100 free but all you gotta do once you open it up is go into new project and then you're gonna literally name it absolutely whatever you want so i'm just gonna call it sample editing beginner press create and then from there the first thing we do is we go to this edit tab which is the third out of the seven tabs down here we got the media one the cut edit fusion color fairlight which is audio and then the deliver tab which is rendering the three tabs we're going to be using today is the edit tab to put all our stuff together the fusion tab to do some fine-tune editing and then we're going to be doing i don't think we'll be doing color stuff at all depending on how the clips look and then deliver i'll show you guys how to actually render your montage in the final product so first thing we're going to go to edit tab go up here to file go to project settings right here and then we're going to change our timeline frame rate to 60 fps now what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on save and then that's actually going to save all our project settings Settings. You want 1920 by 1080, 60 FPS. So that's like the best possible resolution for montages. Next, we're actually going to go into our file explorer and we are going to go find some clips. So I got two clips in here that I'm going to use. I'm going to use this oh one, which is a clip from Mojo. It's in my editing pack, actually. That would be nice. Oh my... And then I'm probably gonna use that one as well. All right, so what we're gonna do after we have all our stuff, we're actually gonna drag in our song. I'm using a song by 637 Godwin called Tiger. It's a banger, I love so it. I'm gonna drag it into our project like this. And then what we're gonna do is, if you have like a super long intro, all you can do is just drag from the left side and cut it down. With the built-in audio like levels thing right here, we can see where the big beats are, which is where we're gonna wanna sync to. And we can see right here, we got our first main beat, which is what we're gonna sync our first clip to. So we're gonna come through to here, we can go to this peak, add a marker by pressing M on the keyboard. And then the second one right here, and you can pretty much just listen to it and tell what like beat you want to sync it up to. And then we can also just listen to the audio forms and tell which one we're going to add our beat to, which is actually going to be the second uh, little part right here. So we're just going to press M on the keyboard. And then to cut the clip down, you can just come over here to the blade tool, click on anywhere that you want to cut it at. So there you go like this. And then we can see there's two different parts now. And then we just click on the thing after clicking back on the selector tool and press delete. That's all there is to it. Another quick tip that I have for you guys before we actually move to adding the clip to the music is transition points. So you'll notice that in a lot of like Fortnite montage songs, after every main like beat or like beat drop, there's always like a little clap or like a hi-hat. I always love to tr like sync my transitions to that point. So if we listen to this, I don't know if you guys heard that little like clap right there, but I'm gonna add a marker to that. That's gonna be our transition point. And then we come here, which is right here. That's our other transition point, but we're only doing two clips, so it doesn't really matter. 
Like that, if that makes sense. And then now what we're going to do is we're going to be adding our clips. So to actually preview our clips, we just double click on it in the top left. Then we come through here. Let's just go slightly before the kill. And we'll press this left little arrow thing. We'll go after the kill. We'll select this right little arrow thing. And then we'll find the kill that we get shotgun pellets, which is this. We're going to press M. And then right when we drag it in, we have everything preset. We got the marker. We just line up these two markers on the beat. And we'll drag it out to this marker on the right and drag it out on the left. And then next, what we're going to do is we're going to get our other clip ready. So we got this one. We're going to do the exact same thing. Pan through. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go right before the uh, kill right here. Then we're going to go after the kill. And then we're going to find the kill where we get these shotgun pellets right here. So you can see we got the shotgun pellets. And we're just going to press M to add our marker. Drag it in. Line it up. Boom. Just like that. And then we're just going to drag that out on either side. There we go. That's all we really need to do. That's how we actually do that. So next, what I'm going to be showing you guys is time remapping, doing slow-mos, like adding slow-mos after the kill. What we're going to do is we're going to go to retime controls on the clip after right clicking, pressing this little arrow thing on the kill, add speed point, click on the arrow after the kill, change speed 50%, drag it back. And it is literally that simple. It's so easy to actually do this. That's pretty much that. And then we go right here, right click, retime controls, black arrow, add speed point, change speed 50% drag it back down it's that simple and then if we want to actually have it we can see that the frame rate like drops after the kill if we want it to be smooth click on optical flow it'll be nice and smooth um and yeah, yeah it's pretty much how you do that so impacts and effects pretty much the first step is going down here to your effects library if you don't have this by the way you only have something like this Just click on media pool and effects it'll give you guys the same layout like me go to effects right here drag an adjustment clip over and then trim it down so it is lasting from where your marker is to the very end of the clip now from there you're going to click on the adjustment clip you're going to go into the fourth tab which is the fusion tab that i talked about earlier and we're actually going to pull up the presets that are down below in the description so the first one is going to be the pink impact we're just going to literally drag this in i'm going to press not yet it's going to take a second to load because i haven't used any presets like that inside of davinci and since i don't have universe glow i'm just going to delete it doesn't really matter if you guys have universe plugins you can use it and i'm literally just going to disconnect everything so when you first import it it's going to look a little something like this you're going to have the three down here and then you're going to have this line pretty much you just disconnect this line connect it to the left side and then connect the right side to the media out the thing about this is we don't have the keyframes in so in order to actually make this work we can see that like we don't want that at all that's not going to work out so we're going to go over here to keyframes and then what we're going to do is we're going to press this little um zoom to fit thing and we can see that the key the uh, keyframes that we actually want are all the way over to the left so what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to like completely drop do this drop down menu select these keyframes drag them over and we're just gonna do that for all of them just kind of drag them over here and then we're, we got to do some fine tuning so we can see that this one should be pretty good let me quickly see so the shake that we want that actually is lined up let me quickly bring this one over too just so i can show you guys what i mean so basically we can see that there's some keyframe stuff going on right here and this is a little advanced but we can see these lines represent the keyframe you always want the first line in that set to be at the very start of our clip so this one's good we can see that um this would look like this but we just drag it over to the left and line it up with our little red playhead and we can just select all of our keyframes and go through and do that for each one and that is literally that so if we play it back we can see that it actually looks like an actual impact now which is really good that's exactly what we we're going for so that's exactly how you do that all you got to do to actually duplicate this is click alt on your keyboard drag this over and you can literally add that to the second clip as well now build ups are also super important because they add a lot of flair to your montage so we're going to add an adjustment clip and we're actually going to have it end where this adjustment clip starts and then we're going to have it begin like a little before doesn't really matter so we're going to go in here to the fusion tab we're going to go to the last frame we're going to quickly close our keyframe menu and then i have some of the build up settings down below so i'm just going to use the build up shake right here drag it in connect it you could either with single ones you can either press shift and hold and then allow it to connect or you can literally do the exact same thing as before disconnect it connect it that works as well so we're going to click on this go to keyframes press this thing we can see the keyframes over here so we're going to drag them they're still a little outside so we're just going to drag them over again and actually the way that these presets are we need them to be one extra frame to the right so we just got to quickly click to the right drag this over a tiny bit and then what we're going to do is we are going to click zoom we're going to select all these bring this to the very end and have this last at the very end of the clip so we can see that before the kill we got the shake going on right here we can see that like the clips wobbling a little bit as a build up and then that'll actually allow us to have a little 
that's pretty much that that's how you add your impacts and buildups it's super simple now transitions da vinci has so many options for this you can add like just a cross dissolve by dragging and dropping it's so simple just like this and we're gonna go like that oh my god and just as a little cross dissolve or there's a bunch of different motions ones like pan down pan right pan left pan pan up zoom in zoom out all that stuff but i'm just gonna stick with the cross dissolve because it's a classic it works great for oh me now lastly if you want to do some color correcting this is kind of advanced you don't actually need to do this but you can if you are kind of like a perfectionist like i am go to your color tab and what you can do is you can just adjust the saturation so if you want it a bit brighter you can change this to like 65 if you want the shadows to be a bit darker or a bit lighter you can bring this up and that's literally just a simple way that you can adjust the clips because we can see that this looks a lot more vibrant than this clip and then if we were to actually go into the color tab change our saturation to like 65 up our shadows a little bit it looks a lot brighter but that's how you do that now moving on to the deliver tab this is the final step of the process you literally just name this whatever sample montage we're just going to go to whatever folder and then you just press add to render queue render it up and that's literally how you do that you just let it do its thing it'll take a little bit to actually render out but that is pretty much how you do that and then once you've actually rendered it out you can go find it go like this and then you can just watch it and then we got a little montage right there it took us like 10 minutes to do all of that and uh yeah obviously you guys would have a lot more in terms of your montage you probably have like 20 to 25 clips but that's pretty much how you do that if you guys learned something you enjoyed make sure to like comment subscribe check out the presets i'll have down below in the description also check out my editing pack like i said five dollars it has so many more davinci presets that you can play around with but yeah i hope you guys did enjoy i'll see you guys later peace out